I'm here with Bethel Mayor John Callahan, who's also candidate for U.S. Congress next year. Yes. What did you think of the event today? I thought it was exciting. It's always exciting when, you know, uh, the President of the United States comes to visit, uh, you know, the area. And I think it was a great opportunity for us to hear him and what he's focused on down in Washington, D.C., which was clearly, you know, uh, trying to get, you know, uh, you know, lower that our unemployment rate, trying to get people back to work, trying to get this economy, you know, uh, moving forward and jump started in a, in a, in a more you know, in a more rapid fashion. And I was encouraged to hear uh, some of the progress that's been made. And I think we all recognize that we didn't get here, you know, overnight, and it's not going to be fixed overnight. And, and uh, you know, the, the, I think the president's doing his best to roll up his sleeves uh, and try to put some policies in place that are going to drive private sector investment, that are going to stimulate job. Uh, growth and, and economic investment, and as he said, you know, to use, use his term, and I think it's a good one, is you know, get people, Americans, back to work, building things, that, building the things that America needs. And so, I was encouraged by what I heard, and, and I think uh, equally important is he was here to listen, and I think he. Uh, heard some things here that I, he will be able to take back to Washington, D.C. And, and work with his cabinet to try to, you know, uh, come up with even further policies to stimulate the economy. And so, you know, I think it was great that he was here, here because, uh, you know, Lehigh Valley represents uh, an area that's kind of really very much of a microcosm uh, of the United States and mirrors a lot of uh, the rest of this country. It's got, it's got urban areas, it's got three principal cities in Allentown, Bethlehem, and Easton, it's got the suburbs, uh, and, and it's got some rural areas. So in that sense, it, he's got a little bit of everything here in the Lehigh Valley, and, and which makes it a great place for him to kick off a tour like this that's focused on jobs and, uh, and, and the economy. What do you think about his human touch? He seems to really connect with people. He's not afraid to, to laugh right. and, and the thing. The the final question, the this the veteran uh -huh. with the VA. Uh, how how does all that strike you? The way he connects with people and how he how does he do it? Well, I'm quite sure that that, that veteran's gotten his issue taken care of by now. I, I hope so. Uh, I, I I think it, it really came. It does come across very clearly that he understands. Uh, that while you know that while we are seeing some positive trends, uh, that that there are people that are still out there that are hurting, uh, and people that you know either don't have a job and are desperate for one, or or have a job and are worried about their ability to keep it. And so that that sort of connect that connection uh, comes through very clearly. And he said it himself today that and it, it's hard to imagine when you look at look at him on stage and say, "Oh, he's the president of the United States." But you know, it wasn't long ago, six or eight years ago, he was paying off student loans. And trying to figure out which bill to pay, and, and to me, and he kind of that, choked up at that very point, different, didn't he? Uh, than past presidents, yeah. You know, obviously, very pres very different from uh, President Bush, who you know I don't think really had to worry much about uh, had the silver where, where spoon, his, where foot his bills were paid. Yeah. So uh, that kind of uh, common touch and that kind of groundedness is is very important. It comes across, but. It, not only does it come across that way, I think it's genuine and real. Uh, and, and that's why I'm confident that ultimately uh, we're going to get this right. Do you think uh, the president will come here to campaign for you next year? Uh, well, there hasn't been any discussion of that. I, I did have the opportunity to, to, to meet with him uh, prior to his coming out. You were Ed Pulaski. Uh, no, I, I it was. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, that know, was a funny faux yeah, pas. Uh, and, yeah, exactly. Uh, but. Um, you know, and, and we, we talked a little bit about the area and, and some of the challenges that we're facing. I, you know, I, I let him know that we're, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're thankful for his effort and, 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 and what he, the plans that he's put in place. You know, as a mayor, uh, there were certainly, uh, you know, aspects of the Recovery Act that were important to helping stabilize, you know, our situation from a budgetary standpoint. We talked a bit about that. Um, and you know, briefly talked about the race, and he obviously was aware of the fact that I'm, I'm running for Congress, and I think he's uh, looking forward to have a, having a, you know, a, a number, another Democratic voice in Congress to help him, as I said, kind of roll up, roll up our sleeves collectively to get busy, uh, you know, uh, getting this economy moving forward. And he, he really wanted to hear uh, about how, you know. As a mayor of Bethlehem over the last six years, taking you know the largest single owner brownfield in the United States, and and making those critical infrastructure investments, getting the getting that site shovel ready in conjunction with the private sector, and and the results that we've had. I mean, and the the re results are dramatic. And just on the LVIP site alone, there's over 2,000 jobs at LVIP seven, uh, 1,000 jobs obviously associated with the casino. Everybody's well, well aware of that. But in totality, over the last uh, seven years, uh, we've had an upwards of 
or six years, upwards of about 5,000 5, new jobs and over $2 billion of investment in the city. And, and uh, he was pretty impressed by those numbers. So, uh, if, if, you know, and, and I think he's looking forward to having someone in, down in D.C. Uh, who sort of knows not just the what to do, but kind of the how to get it done. And, uh, and I think we need more of that down in Washington.